Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with 365 animals and today we got quail, I can't remember what number that is, 140? Yeah, 140. And I had fun drawing this quail, I found it really easy to draw, usually I struggle getting proportions right and getting um, things right but I was actually on a whim and um, you'll notice that this is digital. Um, I decided to not do it traditionally just because I tend to just sketch it and that's it. Whereas with the digital one I can have them all in a folder and I can add colour and um, I can reference them quite easily when I'm doing my illustrations. So um, a lot of changes are going to be happening with the 365 animals because I think that it's easier to just do. <laughs> to do them like this but I want them to be done better. Um, I want to do a lot more illustrations and I did have one planned out for the quail but unfortunately this month has, is like literally jam-packed like I do not have a line free in my planner like at all <laughs> it's just covered um, so I have a lot to do this month um, in preparation for uh, when my kid is going to be off school and when my partner is going to be off school as well, uh, off work, because um, yeah, they're going to be off for two weeks. So I'm prepping and I want to be a month ahead. So next year, I think that when I prep for videos for December or for any t particular like holiday or challenge, like monthly themed challenge or something, that I will do the videos the month before. And then that means that I don't feel so pressured to do all the videos in like the space of two weeks so yeah anyway a couple of facts about these quails because I think that the facts are awesome I'm just gonna close this um, okay uh, the bird is part of the pheasant family pheasant family um, even though even though they don't look alike um, they're closely related and they originate from North America but can be found in Europe Asia Africa, Australia and South America. Um, there are 32 species of quails that differ in size, colour and type of habitat where they can be found. Uh, quails in habitat, woodlands, areas covered with bushes and open spaces. Some species of quails are hunted as game birds or because they're meat that is highly priced in some countries and feathers that is used for decoration. Um, they can be they can be de domesticated as well if I could say that sentence properly, and uh, kept as poultry that um, produce eggs of high quality. So that's pretty cool. Um, they're small, so that could have been a clue from a forest clearing illustration to make it small. But I just didn't know how to do that. So I think that I'm going to do a singular illustration, rendered illustration of the bird in the future. Um, and I don't know, I think it could look cool if I put some sort of leaves or something around it. I have no idea, but I don't know. Maybe somebody will want it as a print one day. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, so certain species of quails have plume, also known as top knot, shaped like a teardrop on the top of their head. So if you look at the one that I've just drawn, you can see that they both have those and um, they fly short distances but they also spend most of their time on the ground. Um, I didn't type out all of these online on the thing because I just thought that it would be boring so um, I didn't show you everything that was going on and uh, yeah it was just a quick illustration basically. So the female lays from 1 to 12 eggs, usually six brightly coloured eggs that hatch after incubation period of 23 days um, and the main predators of quails are cats, foxes, coyotes, um, raccoons, hawks, owls and snakes. So I guess I could draw them fighting, like a cartoon illustration of them fighting somebody, I don't know. Um, because if you don't watch these regularly then you will not know that I take the facts of the species or the animal or whatever I'm researching and then I try and make an illustration out of the facts. Uh, so yeah, it actually does spark ideas but the only idea that I could come up with with this was to draw a bird, a quail in um, a forest clearing but 
unfortunately I don't think that that would be very cool I think that it would just look like the main focus was the forest clearing with a random quail rather than a quail in a forest clearing if you get what I mean so there's a bunch of facts here um, you can look them up if you want I will link in the description if I remember the place where I got these facts um, but yeah I think I'm going to end this video here uh, it's only five minutes long I don't think next time I'll make them five minutes long I think it's too little of a time to talk about what I want to talk about and I, I feel pressured so um, next one actually the FOSA one will probably be yeah, I'm just thinking to myself now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to call, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm really sorry that it was just a rubbish one just now, but I just need to get videos up and I want to start getting into the swing of recording as much videos as possible. So we're going to just um, be out the bad before the good comes out, I think, uh, so that my channel builds back up again because I stopped posting for a while. Anyway, I'm rambling on, so I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, I really do appreciate your support. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.